okay, this one's different. We've seen coding agents, chatbots, co-pilots, but never a desktop AI that actually listens. Deep Agent just launched The Listener, a new system built right into its desktop app, and it feels less like software and more like hiring a second brain that doesn't sleep. Here's what that looks like when you actually use it. You hop into a meeting and keep talking like you normally would. As people speak, the listener captures the conversation instantly. Names, dates, numbers, decisions, side comments that would normally vanish in the ether without you waiting for a post-processing upload or a we'll email you later summary. It's live. If someone says, let's shift launch to the 27th, Jake owns the migration and will circle back on pricing. All three of those points are recognized and pinned with context. Objections are highlighted as they happen, risks are flagged, action items and owners appear the moment they're mentioned. And by the time the call ends, you already have what you usually spend half an hour assembling. A clean transcript, a structured summary, the highlights and the next steps. Ready to ship to Slack, turned into tasks with owners and due dates, logged to your CRM, and even paired with a follow-up email with the right attachments. The part that surprised me isn't just the transcription quality or the speed. It's the on-screen awareness. The listener understands what's in front of you. Slides, spreadsheets, dashboards, email threads, docs. So you can ask questions in plain language while you're looking at the thing. What are the three biggest priorities the customer just mentioned? It answers. What changed between this proposal and last week's? It points out the differences. What's the real story in this dashboard? Are signups growing because conversion improved or because traffic spiked? It actually reads the panels and tells you. That behavior is what moves it past note taking and into real assistance. And it isn't limited to one type of call. In sales, it acts like a silent closer, catching objections the second they appear, suggesting responses grounded in your own materials, and tracking commitments so you never miss a promised follow up. In interviews, it flags strengths and gaps, timestamps key moments, and leaves you with structured notes that make debriefs painless. In team meetings, it separates signal from noise, assigns decisions and owners, and makes what did we agree on basically disappear. The whole pitch is simple. Real-time transcription, real-time insight, real-time advantage. And it finally feels truthful instead of marketing. Because the listener lives inside Deep Agent Desktop, the handoff from insight to action is seamless instead of duct taped. Kick the summary to Slack channels right from the end of the call. Turn bullet points into tickets in your project manager with owners and due dates already attached. Drop notes and next steps into the CRM automatically. Trigger that follow-up email with the right file attached. You go from knowledge to execution without leaving the flow of work. And that's the difference between cool demo and I can run my week with this. Now let's talk about the container it ships in because the desktop matters here. Deep Agent Desktop is the all-in-one shell. Four modes, CLI, Code Editor, Chat, and now Listener, running on macOS, Windows, and Linux. If you live in the terminal, you can also install the CLI directly with npm install g at Abacus AI Deep Agent and type Deep Agent to pop open a terminal UI. If you want an editor-centric workflow, the integrated code editor sits inside the desktop app today and there's a dedicated IDE extension on the way. The chat mode is the talk to models side, brainstorming, answering questions, designing prompts, and it routes across a lineup of state-of-the-art models, Sonnet 4, GPT-5, Gemini 2.5, O4 Mini, O3, QN3 Coder, Dracaris, or you can let the deep agent agent auto-select the best LLM for the task. That model switcher isn't just for show. In practice, it matters when you bounce between reasoning, code gen, and multi-step plans. If you skim their examples, the pitch is very developer heavy. Games built lightning fast, ship apps with Deep Agent, Deep Agent CLI beats Claude Code and Codex on key benchmarks, apps one prompt away, all that. Underneath the slogans, the claims aren't timid. The CLI and desktop editor are positioned as top tier on verified coding benchmarks, consistently ranking among the top three agents and outperforming Claude Code and Codex on real world coding tasks. 
That's their phrasing, not mine. And yes, it shows up in the product. The agent plans tasks, edits your repo, runs commands, and keeps provenance visible so you can see what it changed and why. The roadmap is equally busy. MCP integrations for tool hookups, agentic browser automation, agent rules for workflow customization, and a system of deep agent extensions, plus a Chrome extension labeled coming soon that will assist with browser automation and give contextual help on any site. The listener itself was also coming soon in their docs a couple weeks ago. Now it's live and it's clearly the headline. Pricing is the part that raised eyebrows when this first launched. Deep Agent Desktop is bundled with Chat ALM for $10 per user per month. That includes the desktop app, the CLI, chat access to a wide family of top models, and the listener, plus bonus access to Deep Agent and Chat ALM services. It's included in Deep Agent Desktop Teams, too. They set it up the way SaaS should work in 2025. Cancel any time from the chat LM interface. Billing lives in the desktop UI under your profile. Billing and invoices, so you can see past payments, download invoices, and update payment info without opening a support ticket. Usage is fair use with quotas that depend on your plan tier. And you can check current limits on your billing dashboard. On data and compliance, the checklist is there. They don't train on your data. It's encrypted end to end and they're advertising SOC 2 Type 2 and HIPAA. If you work in a regulated org, those boxes matter. And the were fast claim isn't just vibes. On their terminal bench, Deep Agent Desktop scores 48.75%, which they present as a clear lead over other popular tools. You can argue the philosophy of any single benchmark, sure, but when your dev loop feels like this, the number doesn't feel out of place. Back to listener for a second because that's the new muscle. When you pair it with the rest of the desktop app, you eliminate the worst kind of context switching. You don't finish a sales call and then spend half an hour trying to remember whether Alina said pilot in two weeks or pilot in week two. You don't leave an interview and struggle to reconstruct what the candidate actually did on their last project. You don't get to Friday and ask, wait, which risk did we accept versus mitigate? It's tracked, tied to the transcript and routed to the tools you already use. The listener's chat overlay becomes a small superpower in those moments when someone asks a question you should know the answer to. What changed between the last proposal and this one? You ask the overlay and answer confidently because the agent already diffed the docs. That's how you end calls with confidence because the transcript is complete, the summary is accurate, and the next steps didn't get lost in your notebook. I'm not gonna lie, two weeks ago their docs still said the listener and the Chrome extension were coming soon in the next couple of weeks. Now the listener is here and it's clearly the main act. The Chrome extension is still listed as coming soon. And when that lands, it will close the loop on browser automation and on-page help for any site. But even without it, the desktop and CLI combo already cover a lot of ground. Coding, reasoning, browsing with an agent, and now live meeting intelligence that isn't a bolt-on afterthought. If you wanna try it, you can grab the desktop app for Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. Or go straight to the terminal with npm install g at Abacus AI Deep Agent. The team's plan includes it. The individual plan is $10 per user per month. Cancel whenever. Model access covers the heavy hitters, Claude, Gemini, GPT-5, and you can let the router pick or hard select what you like. And importantly, none of your content is used to train them. It's encrypted and they're waving the right compliance flags. That's the baseline we should expect from any agent touching real work in 2025. All right, that's it for today. If you're testing the listener, tell me how it handled your last meeting and whether the on-screen chat pulled its weight. <laughs>